display tube. As you can see, this is once more the Dell Inspiron 1525. In the previous video, you saw that I upgraded the hard drive, or not the hard drive, the CPU and the RAM to 3GB and the, the Core 2 Duo CPU, respectively. This video is about the OS upgrade. In uh, the first video, someone commented that, uh, or at least asked uh, if it was still running Vista or if it was running XP, and well, that was a wrong guess. It is not running Windows XP, it's not running Windows Vista. It's not running Windows 7, it's not running Windows 8, it's not even running freaking Linux. Although it is Unix based, but by now you should have uh, figured out what is on this thing. Let's boot her up. There we go. It is in fact running Mac OS X. Since this is oh, since this is uh, Snow Leopard 10.6.8, you would actually still need to call it Mac OS 10. As of Mountain Lion, it's just called OS 10 and no longer Mac OS 10. So, in case people didn't know that, now you do. There we go. Boot it up. So yeah, I uh, kind of ruined. Uh, the text for the mouse, uh, for the touchpad, which I will have to fix at some point. It worked the first time, but then I installed an updated text for, I believe, audio. By the way, yeah, just grabbing the mouse here on the side. And, uh, yeah, for some really weird reason, that broke the text. There we go, now we got a mouse to work with. Apple, of course. So the battery still holds the charge. As shown before, it does say that it requires some maintenance. It has about 50% wear, so I'm not really uh, amazed. Let's go to about this Mac. 2 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo, 3 GB of DDR2. All fine and dandy. 4 Max of level 2. So it's just, uh, you know, it's still the Merrim core, it's not Penryn yet, but that's fine with me. Penryns are pretty expensive what you get for them, so. Let's see, audio, yep, it's detected properly. Serial ATA, yep, of course. And the most important thing, the GPU, GMA X3100. It's working properly. Of course, Extreme is working. Core image is working properly as well. So you can do pretty much anything. All the transparency effects and shit. It's all working just fine. So that's all good. So yeah, it's uh, Snow Leopard. It's a bit dated by now. But, uh, you know, every single part on this thing works. Wi-Fi worked out of the box because I decided to... Uh, Take the Wi-Fi card out of this thing. Let me just uh, get it hand on the camera. This is the Wi-Fi card that came with it. It's also a Dell wireless card. It's a Dell wireless 1395. They're pretty easy to get working in OS 10, but it's it's a G card and they pretty much only work in uh, I believe Snow Leopard and Lion or something. I believe be a, after that it's just not going to work. Which would be fun for this project, but I just decided I wanted wireless N. And I got one that actually works out of the box with Leopard all the way up to uh, the current release, Yosemite. Which is nice, because that's a Dell Wireless 1510. Most of those uh, Dell Wireless cards use Broadcom chipsets, and Apple is an avid user of Broadcom uh, chipsets. They also use some um, Ethereos chipsets, but... It's mostly Broadcom, so that's good to know if you're going to build a, a Hackintosh for yourself or you're going to Hackintosh your laptop. Try to get hold of one of those Dell Wireless 1510 cards. They will work out of the box. Or if you're building a desktop, of course, uh, check out this. I believe there is one TP-Link model that will actually work out of the box, but 
Enough about all that nonsense about getting it to work because it was it was very easy. The only thing you really have to do you get a retail Snow Leopard DVD or DMG or whatever. Don't really fucking care where you get it. Um, pretty much burn that to a DVD if you only have a disc image. Otherwise, just pop in the DVD. Pretty much. Then you need to. You just need to have another uh, boot CD burned. It's called Boot 1525. There are plenty of guides out there that will uh, guide you to that. What it allows you to do is it will load the Chameleon bootloader. And uh, pretty much once that's loaded up, you pop the DVD out, pop the Snow Leopard DVD in, wait for 10 seconds, refresh the page, and boot directly from the retail DVD. It will work just fine. Because, uh, you know, for Snow Leopard and, and Leopard and stuff, there were still uh, a lot of custom distros of Hackintosh that you could install on these. But most of them will just freeze halfway during the installer if you're, uh, if you're unlucky. I was one of those unlucky people. So yeah. I am thinking about upgrading it to Lion maybe later down the road. But I'm not quite sure just yet. I mean, it works just fine on Snow Leopard, so... And that better battery life on this uh, half broken battery than uh, Windows does, so I'm perfectly happy with it. Yeah, I got everything installed that I need. You know, uh, putting in the Core 2 Duo CPU on this, this kind of machine is just. It's pretty much a lifesaver because they usually uh, just come with a, a Celeron or like a Core Duo or a very low end thing. You know, this is just a very nice experience overall. The CPU is definitely able to keep up with web pages. You can just browse the web just fine. It will do YouTube 720p just fine in Mac OS X as well. Which is all very nice. And sound works like a charm. I can even use the uh, standard buttons that are on the, on the laptop. I think even iTunes works if I press play. Yep, there it goes. iTunes loads up. It crashes again. That was interesting. Oh. Okay, so iTunes is broken. Okay, that's interesting to know. <laughs> it suddenly changed icon and then it just went kablooey. I figured that would be a software update for that. I think that's a pretty old version. But yeah, anyway. Um, there's not really all that much to showcase on this Hackintosh here. I just wanted to share with you guys that uh, this is now a successful uh, Dell Hackbook, if you want to call it that. Pretty much shared most of the hardware that uh, the white Core 2 Duo uh, early MacBooks uh, had. You know the plastic ones, polycarbonate white ones. Up until 2008 they were still using X3100 graphics and... Uh, and you know, Core 2 Duo CPUs from the same generation as this is. It's essentially just a MacBook 2007 if you want to call it that. But just with the Dell badge on it. So yeah, that pretty much concludes the video on the Dell Inspiron 1525 Hackbook that also sleeps and wakes up just fine. Figured that would be nice to show as well. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.